Let's make, let's get our, let's get this together. Bison meatballs, spaghetti squash, homemade marinara. This is exciting! I'm craving meatballs. And so we're gonna make some. I have some delicious ground bison, some delicious ground pork from our friends over at Locavore Delivery. I have already done a couple things. I've already made a marinara in the easiest way you could imagine, which is a can of crushed tomatoes. I like the San Marzano. To that, I added half an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, some fresh herbs, red pepper flake, put the lid on it and let it simmer for an hour while I roasted off um, these spaghetti squash that we're gonna use as our pasta um, because pasta, gluten-free or regular, is not cutting it for me these days. I'm ahead of the game. So uh, in Denver cooking classes, we talk a lot about mise en place. Um, so this was kind of my mise en place here. Let's get started. One pound of ground bison and a half pound of ground pork. So we're gonna make it fast. In this bowl, I actually have from our friends down at Savory Spice, this pike and pine rub, um, but I'm gonna use it as a seasoning. It's got Himalayan pink salt, chia seeds, sumac, orange peel, garlic, coarse coffee, black pepper, and thyme. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Mmm, just neat little smoky flavors. I just put about a teaspoon in there. Since we are gluten and dairy free, I'm going to use almond flour instead of like breadcrumbs or something like that. Black pepper, a little bit of salt, I'm not too stingy on that. One egg, maybe a third of a cup of this almond flour. This is my favorite all around for anything like their gluten-free flour, coconut flour, almond flour, almond meal. Um, now we're just gonna mix this, you guys. It's seriously that easy. I don't wanna over mix but we just want to incorporate both the pork um, and the bison, the egg, the breadcrumbs, and all the seasoning. You could do anything here. I've seen uh, Dijon get put in here, Worcestershire, but this is the way I like to do it. I don't want to like over season anything because I, I really want to taste the pork and the bison. That's it. So now all we have to do is form this in the some little meatball. And then I've got some garlic and shallot. I'm just going to cut our shallot. Um, really nice and small. Little mints, a couple of cloves of garlic. I feel like there should be music on. Where's the music, y'all? That's it. Super crazy easy. Back into our meatball mixture. And I actually have some uh, dairy-free Parmesan sitting out that we'll, we'll garnish with. Let's actually put some herbs in here too. Put this on top as well. You can do whatever you want. Ground beef, ground pork, bison, elk, antelope, deer, mule deer, whitetail, uh, whatever you want. Okay, circling back to the meatballs. Just add that in there. This doesn't need a lot. Just kind of remix that through, incorporate everything. Then we'll make balls, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, that looks even better. A little more colorful, all nicely incorporated to me. So here we go. I don't know, maybe like about like that. I'm not a professional meatball roller, okay, y'all? I'm gonna just call myself a little more rustic. But look, look at that, come on. That's all we're doing for the next few minutes. I roasted a spaghetti squash, um, super simple. I cut it in half and then I seasoned it with olive oil salt and pepper, uh, roasted it at 400 for an hour. It smells so stinking good. Ah! Um, so I'm gonna cook all of these off. There will be plenty since I'm only feeding myself to go ahead and freeze. Put them in a, like a vacuum seal, just a Ziploc, whatever you want. But just having it all done and then it's something that you can just pull out of the freezer on a night that you don't feel like cooking. If you're eating spaghetti or whatever, you can make a quick bowl of pasta and quick marinara, there you go. We got a meal. We had a pound and a half of meat. Plus we added other things. These are like just gorgeous already. I'll show you once I'm done. The cat is scratching my furniture. Maybe she should be over here helping. Luna. The marinara. I told you I had crushed tomatoes, 
a little bit of onion, garlic, herbs, salt. I do put some red pepper flake in there and then I let it simmer. Then I took my handy little immersion blender and I did add some extra creamy almond milk. I use the immersion blender so we have kind of like a nice little creamy sauce. Oh, and I put some beef tallow in. Lovely gift from our friends at Rattlesnake Meat Company. They are amazing. They're out of Kansas and raise gorgeous, gorgeous beef. And they sent me two pounds of beef fat, which I rendered and you can use for all kinds of things like skincare, you know, your butter supplement. I love to cook with it. Thank you to them. Our meatballs are done. I'm just gonna wash my hands. That took no time at all, which makes me really happy. Look at those guys. We got one, two, three, 14. So we're just gonna go over to the stove now and I'm going to heat up some of that tallow and a little bit of olive oil in a nice large pan. Brown these, put them in the sauce, Simmer it for seven minutes. While that's happening, we'll cut up our garnish and scoop out our spaghetti squash, and we'll have a meal. Come with me. Yes. So we have beef tallow here, a little bit of olive oil. You know, I wanna get this nice and hot. So I'm turning this up to medium high. I'll probably end up cranking it even more. Oh, and here, while we're here, let me show you my sauce. Isn't that glorious? It's just kind of hanging out on low because once I brown all the meatballs, I'm actually just gonna pop them right back in here and let them simmer up. Simmer down. This is exciting. Game meat doesn't take as long to cook. Elk and well, venison in general just doesn't need a whole lot of time. We've got pork in here, but we'll brown them all, all sides. We sing songs to the cat. Stop scratching my furniture, Luna. Oh no, you can't have nice things. You're the reason why I can't have nice things. <laughs> Luna, why can't we have nice things? Huh? Why can't we have nice things? Oh my God, you can smell that beef tallow. Oh, it's glorious, glorious, glorious. Y'all, I put that stuff on my wrinkles. I'm telling you, it works. Carefully. Kind of like rubbing them through the oil. Mm. I won't crowd the pan. We'll do this in batches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have six left. We have eight in the pan. I, there's no way I'm gonna eat eight meatballs by myself. They can just all be frozen. Luna, Luna. So I want this brown on all sides. Oh yeah, nice and brown. You gotta be really gentle with these. We can fall apart since we aren't using breadcrumbs. Whoop. Developing a little crust already. You can smell the garlic. Look at that. Watch your heat. You don't want to burn. I'm one of those crazy people who definitely uses my fingers. Oh. Mmm. Oh my God. Pop these up on our side. This, this one needs a little help. All those crunchy bits in here with it. Why not? Next level. I am gonna scrape up all these bits too. And get them right in with the meatballs. This is some flavor we're gonna scrape up. It's almost time to put these in our sauce. I think, oh yeah, that's it. I'm gonna give this a nice stir before. Um, we put the meatballs in because I don't want it to splatter. We're gonna put them up, drop them in, put on the lid for you know six minutes. Throughout the rest of our meatballs. That's it. Cranking up the heat a little. So being really gentle because we still don't want these to fall apart. Six to eight to ten minutes. But with the lid on, we got our squash. It cooled really nicely. Of that shell, I can't waste a second. So this is gonna ultimately be at least two servings. There's our 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 noodles. So we're all kind of nicely mixed. I don't think it needs any more oil, but it will need some salt. I'm just gonna do a quick check on my meatballs. Oh yeah, they're simmering. Some salt. We're sprinkling it from above. Twist, 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 twist. So I'm just, um, now I'm just gonna chop up some parsley for the top. 
I see a lot of people like spending a lot of time picking their parsley and their cilantro. Now listen, with cilantro, go ahead and use all the stems. Unless it tastes like soap to you, don't use it at all. The parsley, it's a little more bitter to me, so I take it off, but I don't spend a ton of time on it, y'all. Like, look, that's this, this is not gonna kill you, this little stem. I just take this and kind of make a nice big pile, ball of it, and we just start running our knife through it, you know, and that's pretty much it. I do want to check the meatballs before I pull everything. I want to look on the inside, make sure it's cooked. I just have this. Next level. You guys don't even know. I'm gonna cut it right in half. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at. I can't even stand how delicious this is gonna be. Mm. They're juicy. There is some heat in the sauce because I put some red pepper flake in there. Those flavors of that rub from savory spicer in this, these meatballs. Oh, God. You, you can taste the crunchy, you know, exterior from where we browned it. Oh, my board. Mmm. We're going to serve this. I have a bowl. Spaghetti squash right here. And this is gonna pair really well with a nice wine. I mean, any wine, any red, even a white would be really nice with this. And I feel like a beet and persimmon salad with arugula would be arugula would be so good. Here are meatballs. Look at that. I'm gonna have to eat this before I go back to cooking the rest of those meatballs. So I like it saucy. I like wiped on the edges. Super nice. Sprinkle that from above. And then just a little of my dairy free parm. There you go. It only took, you know, like an hour of, you know, the simmering and the, and the squash. And I don't really have time to talk to y'all anymore because I got some meatballs and spaghetti to eat. Thanks for watching. Peace. Y'all, and just to think I was, I'm gonna make a smash burger on lettuce wraps. I'm so glad I did this.